Yo, what's up guys? This is Andre Kenshin here. And today we're gonna be doing another episode of Brocketology Update. This one is for December 31. And his update here says December 26. Yes, Jordan Nandri will update. And now get ready for the final video of the Brocketology of the year 2023. So and here is the bracket watch today. Top over seed, same, still, still the same with Purdue. First team out, Washington. Last team in is Virginia Tech. Three years on the bubble. You see Mississippi State, Florida, Michigan State. Unbelievable performance with upset over Baylor and victory dominant over Oakland and South Carolina. Last four in, you see New Mexico, Kansas State, Texas, and Virginia Tech. In the first four outs, so Washington, Nebraska, Butler, and Utah State. And the next four outs, so Texas Tech, Cincinnati, St. John's, and TCU. Here's the 1618 bracket. Here's the update. So many updates in the Midwest of Detroit. A bunch of moving down and up. So Virginia and Oklahoma has moved down to 8 and 5. Kentucky and Villanova has moved up to 4 and 6. Akron Zips has moved down to 14. And Florida Atlantic moved up the number two after an unbelievable upset with the win over Arizona. And unfortunately, Florida Atlantic will move down again to three or five. I believe three or four. Four. The Florida Atlantic will fall down because they're losing to the FGCU. <clears throat> In the West region, 16 C, you saw move up the Marys. The move up the eight by the Providence Iowa State is moved down the nine as well. Baylor's move up, move down the number five. North Carolina is moved up to four. UNC Wilmington's new field as they regain the new bracketology field. Texas AM has moved up to number six. Tex Texas is moved down the first four, and Virginia Tech's in the new field. BYU and Fort Wayne is moved down, move up to three and fourteen, and Gonzaga's moved down to seven. Uh, in the South region, you saw Houston's right. move up to number one. Mm -hmm. Our Roberts move new in the 16th seed. Colorado is saw the move down to number eight. Nevada's move up to number nine. Auburn, Grand Canyon, and Creighton is moved down to five, twelve, and six. Unfortunately, Creighton will lose back-to-back -back games with they lose by Villanova in market earlier today. South Carolina's move up the number 11, Wisconsin's move up the number 3, Sanford's move in the new field, and Longwood is moved down the number 15. In the east, you saw Utah's move up the number 8, Colorado State and Liberty alongside will move up the number 5 and 12, Memphis is moved up the number 4, Alabama New Mexico is moved down the first 4, Ole Miss is moved up the number 7, and both Yukon and Colgate is moved down the 2 and 15. So hope you guys enjoy this video. I want you to see my go-to sheets again. The update tonight. So hope you enjoy this video here. So this is the final video of the year 2023. And the next video we're gonna be doing the first video of the 2024. That's gonna be the Simon Say Goodbye for the 2023 and the NFL Week 18 predictions. Get ready for the soon. We'll leave two starts at January 6th. We'll be late and we'll be uploaded on January 6th. So, let's get started. So, starting up in the Midwest. So, we got Purdue facing the winner of Merrimack or Sarton. I think Purdue will win. Virginia and Dayton, I believe the Cavaliers will win this one. Oklahoma versus the Indiana State. I think the Sooners will win. Kentucky and Indiana. Why Indiana is the 13, not 12? I believe Indiana State is 12. I believe Kentucky will win. Michigan State versus Villanova. I think the Wildcats win this game. Crimson versus Akron. I think the Tigers will win this one. Ohio State and Mississippi State. I think the Buckeyes win it. And further, I think will pass over Murray State. In this second round matchup, Purdue takes out Virginia. Kentucky versus Oklahoma, I think the Wildcats win. Villanova versus Clemson, I'm gonna think the Wildcats will win. Ohio State for the Atlantic, and I'm gonna do the upset there. I don't like for the Atlantic, so I'm gonna think the Buckeyes will win over the for the Atlantic. 
Next in the Sweet 60, Purdue versus Kentucky. I think we're gonna go to Wildcats win over the Purdue. And Villanova versus Ohio State, and we're gonna go with the Wildcats win. You drink your beer too much there. While was part of the Midwest Elite 8, I'm gonna take it Wildcats who win over the Wildcats. I was like, Kentucky beat Villanova. Move on to the South Region. We got Houston versus the winner of Norfolk State on Oral Roberts. I think Houston will win. Colorado versus Nevada. I think Nevada will upset Grand Canyon versus Auburn. I think the Tigers will win. Duke will destroy over UC Irvine. Creighton will take out over South Carolina. Wisconsin will take out over Sanford. San Diego State will take out over Miami. And Tennessee will take out Longwood. <laughs> Well, next up in the second round of South, Houston will take up Nevada, Duke will take down Auburn, and Creighton will gonna offset over Wisconsin, and San Diego State will offset again over Tennessee. You in the next round in the Sweet 16, Duke versus Houston. I believe Duke will win. Will offset over Houston, and Creighton will pass over San Diego State. And hopefully Creighton will move down again, I believe we'll move down to 7 or stay on the same and drop ranking soon as the Monday. So Duke versus Creighton, the last part of Elite 8. I am gonna upset the Blue Jays. We'll win. Next up in the East, we got Kansas versus Limscom. I have to go to Jayhawks win. Utah versus Northwestern. I think the Northwestern will upset. Colorado State versus Liberty. I'm gonna take the Flames. will win. Tigers, Memphis, will take out over Mackney State. Alabama will take out over New Mexico or Kansas State. And Omar will take out over Vermont. James Madison will take her over Ole Miss. And Connecticut will take out over Colgate. Next up in the second round of East, I have to go Kansas beat Northwestern. Liberty and Memphis, I have to go to Memphis for win. Alabama versus Anamoy, I have to go to Fire and Nine, I will win. And Connecticut will de destroy over James Madison. Next up in the 316 of East Kansas versus Memphis rematch of the 2008 National Championship where the Kansas beat Memphis where Mario Chalmers versus forces an overtime and Memphis vacated, vacated wins as well. I'm gonna take the Jayhawks for destroying over Memphis and the UConn take out Illinois. In the final four spot of the East region in Elite 8, I have to go to Jayhawks win over the Connecticut. Now it's time for the final one of the West region. I have to go Arizona beat Marys. Providence and Iowa State. I have to go Iowa State win. Baylor beats Princeton. North Carolina beats USC Winnington. Texas AM the, facing the winner of Texas and Virginia Tech. I have to go to away team with the Texas beats Virginia Tech and beats Texas AM. BYU take out Fort Wayne. Gonzaga versus Florida. I have to go Gonzaga. Marquette beats Weber State in the last in the end of the West. Next up in the West region in the second round, I have to go Arizona beat Iowa State. Baylor versus North Carolina. I have to go the Tar Heels win it. Virginia Tech versus Texas. Virginia Texas or Virginia Tech versus BYU. I have the Cougars win this game. Gonzaga versus Marquette. I have to go to Marquette win it. Next up in the Sweet 16 West region, I have to go to Tar Heels win over North Carolina. And BYU Marquette, I have to go to Golden Eagles win it. And finally, the final spot of the rest region, I have to go to Golden Eagles pass over North Carolina. Alright, it's time for the final four of the Brocketology last video of the Brocketology 2023. So we got Kentucky vs. Market and Creighton vs. Kansas. In the first part of the final four, I have to go the Wildcats, Kentucky, will defeat over Market and the Kansas Jayhawks. We'll take out over the Creighton Blue Jay. Sorry, Creighton, we're not gonna make it back in the final four. And the national championship, and this is the final 
Video of our year 2023 Bracketology National Championship update of the year in 2023. And then this matchup, we got Kentucky Wildcats and the Kansas Jayhawks. The rematch of the 2012 National Championship where Kentucky beat Kansas, who's still playing for Anthony Davis. And I'm going to take a sneak revenge there as the Jayhawks win over Kentucky in the National Championship. And a total score with a score of 12 points in a single game. So that's it for now. This is Andre Kenshin as we wrap things up with the final YouTube video of the year 2023. And hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next new year. Will be the first upload of the year in 2024. Good night, everyone, and happy new year, everyone. Will be the end of the 2023 video. Say goodbye for your 2023 fans. Sign up for now and peace out. We'll see you in the new video in the next year of the years 2024. Goodbye and see you. Thanks for watching.